Hey guys, this is just a quick reminder of how to round. Like I've said, if you're comfortable with rounding, you can skip this out. But if, if you feel you need a reminder of rounding, um, especially to decimal places, just have a quick watch of this and try the activities, okay? So just as a reminder, so the golden rule for rounding, whether it's to a whole number or to a nearest decimal place, is that if the first number after the point that you want to round to is four or lower, you round down. If the first number after the point that you want to round to is five or higher, you round up, okay? So I've got an example here. If you were told to round 7.8 to the nearest whole number, so we focus on that point eight, so that's higher than four, i.e. it's five or higher, so that means we round it from being 7.8 up to just eight, okay? So that's rounding to the nearest whole number. For these, this one, if I had 2.23519 and I wanted to round it to two decimal places, the first thing I should do is look for the first number after the second decimal place, which in this case is five, okay? So because it's five, that means I round up. So it goes from being 2.23 something to 2.24. Okay, so I've rounded it up to being 2.24. If we imagine that the number where the 5 is was a 3, we'd keep it as 2.23 because we'd be rounding down. Okay? So I've got some examples on the back. So you can just pause this quickly if you want to and have a quick go at rounding those 3 just to the nearest whole number. So rounding it to a near whole number, then I'll go through the answers to those. So you can pause it and try those quickly. Okay, so three point two, we've rounded down to become three. Eleven point nine, we've rounded up to become twelve, and three hundred forty-one point four, we've rounded down to become three four one. So the first and third ones have numbers that are four or lower, so we've rounded them down. The middle one has a number that's five or higher. So it's rounded up. So I've got three more there that I want you to round to one decimal place, okay? So I want those rounded to one decimal place. So once again, you can pause this and have a quick go at rounding them to one decimal place. Okay. So the answers are 5.6, 17.9, and 288.2, okay? So for the first one, 5.64, four means we round down, so it stays as 5.6. For the next one, 17.89, nine means we round up, so that 0.8 becomes 0.9. And then the one at the bottom, 288.15, the five means we round up, so it rounds up to 288.2, okay? And finally, I've got um, ones I want you to round to two decimal places, even the last one, even though it's got um, lots of different decimal places. Just focus on the third decimal place. That's where you make the decision on where to round it. So once again, I recommend you pause and give yourself a minute or two just to try and do those. So those would be your answers. So 1.156 would round up to 1.16, okay? So the number after the second decimal place is a six, that means we round up, so it becomes 1.16. The next one, 99.281. So the number after the second decimal place is a one, so we round it down, keep it as 99.28. And the last one, 847.321364451. So again, we just focus on the third number, the third decimal point rather, which is a three. So because of that, sorry, which is a one. So because of that, we round down. So it stays as 847.32, okay?
So hopefully that helps just give you a quick reminder of how rounding works. We're looking at Pythagoras today and the answers that we get using Pythagoras often do result in rounding down. So yeah, um, hopefully that's helped you with that. Okay, thank you.